Hi, this video is about the first law which is the multiplication law of indices according to which when a same variable is raised to different powers and it is multiplied together the answer it can be simplified as the variable to the power of the sum of these two powers. I repeat it is a to the power of m times a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So looking at first example you have x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 5 where the it is the same variable multiplied together but we can see that the powers of the two of the variable is different. So now sim to simplify it we apply the multiplication law of indices according to which the same variable the variable can be expressed as a sum of the two powers which is 4 plus 5 which is equal to x to the power of 9. The next one is example 2 where you have x, x to the power of minus 6 times x to the power of 11. So these, this variable can be expressed or simplified as x to the power of minus 6 plus 11 according to the multiplication law of indices and this is equal to x to the power of 5. Applying the multiplication of law of indices for the example 3 because you can see that the variable x is raised to minus 7 and minus 4 and it is multiplied together. So the simplified version will be the, will be the sum of the two powers which is minus 7 plus of minus 4 which is equal to minus x to the power of minus 7 plus times minus 4 is minus 4 which is equal to x to the power of minus 11. And thus we can find we can see that according to the multiplication law of indices which is a to the power of m times a to the power of n it is equal to a to the power, power of m plus n. Example 1 x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 5 becomes x to the power of 9 x to the power of minus 6 times x to the power of 11 becomes x to the power of 5 x to the power of minus 7 times x to the power of minus 4 becomes x to the power of minus 11